The High Court has ruled that there is no vacancy in the Electoral Commission, that's the IBC, despite the resignation of four commissioners. Now, Judge Wilfrida Okwani held that Dr. Rosaline Akombe, Koni Nkatha, Paul Kurgat and Margaret Mochanya announced their exit through the press and there was no evidence of their resignation letters tendered to President Uhuru Kenyatta. And as Francis Gashuri now reports, State House remains mum on whether President Uhuru Kenyatta received any resignation nation letters from the quartet maybe to take only two questions april 16th 2018 we regret to announce our resignation from the commission with immediately effect the trio exiting barely six months after dr roslina combe resigned from the commission citing irreconcilable differences with her colleagues at anniversary towers the four slots remain vacant leaving the commission in limbo with only three commissioners out of seven in office IBC lacking the requisite quorum of five commissioners to hold plenary meetings where critical policy decisions are made. But the High Court today ruled that there were no vacancies yet, despite Akombe, Kada, Mwachanya and Kurgat announcing their resignation and that the commission is legally constituted. This court is unable to hold that there is any vacancy in the commission following the alleged resignations which were communicated through the press statement. My finding is that if indeed the lawmakers intended that a vacancy through resignation may be communicated through any other means other than a letter addressed to the president, then the act would have explicitly stated as much. The judge was making a ruling in a petition filed by Isaiah B. Watt, seeking to have the commission declared unconstitutionally constituted and barred from conducting upcoming by-elections. Perhaps this case will serve as a wake-up call to the lawmakers to reconsider the provisions relating to the resignations by the commissioners with a view to plugging the gaps therein. But speaking to Citizen TV on phone, Mwachanya said though they had tendered their resignation letters to President Uhuru Kenyatta in April this year, he had neither confirmed receipt of the letters or acknowledged their resignation. As such, she says they remain in office technically and their slots could neither be declared vacant nor new commissioners recruited until the appointing authority confirms their exit. However, sources at the IABC Human Resources Department confirmed that the four commissioners had returned vehicles and laptops assigned to them and their security detail withdrawn. Their salaries had also been discontinued and medical covers stopped. State House is yet to respond to a series of critical questions. Did the president receive the resignation letters? And has he accepted the exit of the four commissioners? Why has it taken 10 months to declare a combe slot vacant and four months to confirm the exit of Nkada, Mwachanya and Kurgat? Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.